Hello YouTubers and fellow collectors, welcome back to my channel, Nanny D here, back with two awesome custom figures from one of my all-time favorite movies, The Fight Club, portraying Brad Pitt and Edward Norton. Um, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to tell you who produced these figures because of copyright issues, but um, you guys out there who are in the 1-6 scale figure world, and especially in the uh, custom made figures game you know exactly who the producer is it's an asian company and uh, they've been around for a while and uh, making awesome characters and awesome figures now uh, my friend uh, the clipper king rick from the uk already did a very detailed in-depth review so if you are into that then please uh, by all means check out his channel and his review it's uh, very informative i'm not gonna go too much in depth here. I'm just gonna, you know, give you a little showcase and um, put my two cents in it. What I think about these figures, about um, the things I like and I don't like, and um, yeah, uh, I think that's about it. So let's get started with Brad Pitt. I think the head sculpt is spot on. I mean, that's Brad Pitt through and through. The only thing that bothered me when I got the figure is, as my friend Rick already pointed out and mentioned in his review, is the paint job was a little bit weak. So um, I had to, you know, touch up his lips and uh, a little bit around his eyes just to bring out more the facial features. Now the lips here on screen may appear a little bit darker than they actually are, it's just the camera don't pick up the tones but you get the idea but now the way I touched up his face I really think he looks awesome and like Brad Pitt in the movie I mean look at this this is Brad Pitt right there it's beautiful now, I like the way they sculpted his hair because in the movie he had quite spiky hair which is pretty difficult to sculpt but I think they did a great job doing this I and mean, look the profile. That's Brad Pitt right out of the movie. Beautiful. And also the outfit is awesome. The tailoring from the jacket, or the shirt, down to the pants, and also the boots. It's just fantastic. Boots look exactly like the ones in the movie, and also the pants with the stripes on the side, and this kind of 70s burgundy red jacket. Awesome! Now, he comes with um, a couple of cool accessories. Um, here, the Fight Club soap is one of them. Then um, he comes with this baseball bat, a bottle of beer, and these pair of sunglasses with red glasses on. They're made of real metal, very fragile, so you gotta be careful, but they fit on his face perfectly. So if you wanna display him with the red sunglasses, he looks awesome. But for the time being, I'm just gonna display him like this because I really like his face. And uh, he stands, or the figure comes with just a plain black um, Hot Toys figure stand. And um, I just added this nice deck haul that's been made by my friend Joe Turner from the UK. So let's move on to the companion piece, Edward Norton. Now here I have to say honestly that I think the head sculpt is not perfectly done. It's like 90%, but the paint job is better than the one on Brad Pitt. So basically I can say the paint job is better on Norton, but the accuracy of the likeness is better on Brad Pitt but the paint job is weaker on him. So here it was not a big issue for me to touch up the face and uh, you know bring out the facial features a little bit better and to 
make him look more accurate like Brad Pitt. But here I can't change the, you know, the sculpt. So no need to touch up, but I can't change the sculpt. And especially here, um, around the mouth area, I think it's a little bit off. I don't know, my friend Rick mentioned that he looks a little bit like a hamster, so I totally agree on that. But nevertheless, I mean, you, you get... Um, I mean, you know exactly who it is. It's obvious Edward Norton, and they captured his likeness. Not too bad, but as I said, it's not spot on. I would give it like 80, 90% max. Now, the outfit he comes with is pretty cool. It's a uh, suit, you know, kind of a beige olive tone. And uh, he comes with this uh, suitcase which is also included in the Brad Pitt figure and vice versa, the uh, baseball bat or a second baseball bat is included with the Edward Norton figure so we have basically like two baseball bats and two suitcases and it also comes with a bottle of Budweiser beer which is very very cool and also another cool feature here is the scar on his and the burn mark from the acid. That's pretty cool. And also here the tailoring is very, very well done. Give you a 360 spin. And these are typical figures you have to put them in a right pose to you know make them look good I mean if you just pull them out of the box you might think like nah, I don't know it's, um, it's it's not all that but once you pose them in the right pose with all the accessories and details they really do look awesome and also here I uh, had this custom stand made the custom decal by Joe Turner I really like the way I post here. Um, Edward Norton, you know, like with the shirt hanging outside and, you know, just a blazer, the jacket hanging on his shoulder, really relaxed, all messed up. Just the way in the scene when they came out of the bar and started their first fight. And this is actually one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Now. I heard a couple of complaints about the bodies. Now, I also have the uh, Lethal Weapon um, set of the very same company, and there I really had to exchange the bodies because they were really shitty. That was really crap. But here I think it's quite good. I mean, the body of Brad Pitt is uh, very nicely detailed with all the muscle work and stuff, and has quite sturdy and stiff joints, so it's kind of good quality. Um, and also the uh, body of Edward Norton seems to me to be a uh, knockoff of a Hot Toys True Type body. But also has a very good stance, nice stiff and sturdy joints. So body wise I have nothing to complain and I'm really happy with it. So yeah, besides these you know, little touch ups here and there and maybe a not so super perfect head sculpt of Edward Norton. I really think these both figures deserve to be rated with a 9.5 out of 10. I can't give it a 10 out of 10 because of these little flaws and imperfections, but overall I'm super happy, uh, super happy and excited to have finally um, these characters and figures in my collection. So thank you very much to the company who makes these figures and hopefully they will bring more awesome characters like this. And um, yeah, for all of you guys who would like to get these figures, watch out on eBay. They are sold out. I think only 50 or 60 were made in total. Um, they are very pricey. It's like $500 each figure, but they will definitely increase in value over time. I mean, figures from the very same company go now on eBay for like crazy 2000 up to $7,000 a figure, which is insane. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna keep them, not gonna sell them, because these are keepers. As I said, one of my all-time favorite movies. So, very happy to have these characters in my collection. 
So thanks for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever, text me. And uh, yeah, have fun collecting and see you around on YouTube. Bye-bye.